Hoi, all my mates out there. How's it going? We're doing another Friday, uh, Friday night um, solo stream where I go through my um, shelf of opportunity and play some games that I haven't had a chance to get to. So, um, not usually a solo player, but kind of necessity. If I want to play games, I got to play them solo. So. So we're gonna tonight check out. I got the case here. Yep. We're gonna take a look at uh, Forbidden Desert. So this one's been on my shelf for a long time. So I really <laughs> should have got to it like a couple years ago, probably, but um, just haven't had a chance to. So we're gonna take a look at that game. Um, I'm just gonna play two two players. So pretty much any. Most co-op games you can solo, so that's what I am going to do. I want to turn that back on. Make sure my microphone levels are good so people can hear me. Yep, it's looking good so far. So I'm gonna go down to the table and hey, John, how's it going? I panic. I had just gone to bed because I chattered but when i saw you're going live so i stay as long as i can oh man yeah i mean i appreciate you jumping in but it, um you definitely get your sleep though <laughs> you don't have to stay up because of me i'm just gonna be here playing playing this game but and you can catch it later on too with the the vod um trevor i had just gone to bed I'm shattered. Oh, okay, you're you're tired. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Man, if you need some sleep, get the sleep. Uh, so I'm gonna go down to the table here and kind of show you how I got it set up. So when I was setting this up, I realized that hey, this game looks a lot like my table. <laughs> so it kind of blends in a little bit, but um, I think you can still see uh, the detail of the uh, different tiles. Um, I don't know. This is so. This is the same creator as like Pandemic and Forbidden Island. Um, I can't remember what. It, oh, what's his name? I just blanked on it. It is. Oh man, what is what is his name? It's at the tip of my tongue. That's amazing. They don't have his name on this. That's weird. That's surprising. Matt Leacock, that's what, yeah, okay. Matt Leacock, who's done all these forbidden games and Pandemic and various other games too. So uh, it does look a lot like your table, but <laughs> we can see it fine. Hey, Panda Angel, thanks for dropping in. I appreciate that. I'm glad, John, that you can make out what I'm doing here because, yeah, it does kind of blend in a little bit. Um, I got the the similar background so i can't stay but i'll be lurking have a great game and good luck thanks pan i appreciate that and i appreciate the lurk um always like people hanging out and you know coming to see what i'm up to um maybe you can catch the the video um later on but um so i'll probably be streaming for like an hour or so i don't think this game takes much longer than that so we might as well get started um so with these forbidden games most of them you get so many actions and it's usually movement so in this one there you can move you can clean sand off tiles you can excavate which you're like flipping tiles basically i'm trying to find a column and a row that has different symbols on it that match up with these 
parts that go to this flying machine that I'm trying to build to try to fly off the island. So there's like a little little crystal like thing. And there's an engine and uh, like a compass. And oh, come on. And a propeller. And they all go on this this flying machine eventually so as you get the parts or when you get to the escape area you can put all the parts on this little flying machine which is pretty cool this is a fairly inexpensive game which is nice they um most of these forgotten game or forbidden games are pretty inexpensive so i'm going to be playing the explorer which my and they also always have special abilities for the most part so the explorer he can move clear sand and use um dune blaster diagonally so usually i can only move orthogonally with these um characters but with the explorer i can move diagonally and clear stuff diagonally which is kind of nice um then i also have the archaeologist which i can clear two sand from one tile uh, uh per action so that i can double up on there and remove more from the from the tile because if if there's at least two on if there's more than one i can't traverse through that tile so um that's not good blocks off the the board for the most part i think i'll start with the explorer and just just a warning i've possibly could make rules mistakes so um this is definitely not a how-to or anything like that um it's a fairly straightforward game but you know with any board game you can there's a possibility you might mess something up so Sorry in advance if I do miss something or I mess up or play something wrong, um, but I will do my best and try to escape this desert here and and find uh, uh, find a way off. So and build this the ship here. So I'm going to start with the explorer. So I get four actions. So I think I will go ahead and clear the one that's on here. That's one action. And I'll flip there. So I got a little little gear symbol on that tile. So that means I get one of these gear cards, which are things that can help later. They're usually you can use at any time type of things. So let's see. I got I got the telescope. So peek under a any excavated tile. Play at any time does not count. As an action, discard um, to box after use. So it's a one-time use thing. So you can kind of though it has kind of a steampunk type look to it. So that was two. And then I'll go ahead. I can go diagonally with him. So that's three. And I think I'll move. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll move there for four. All right, so I'm playing at normal level. Um, I could start it at novice, um, but I figured I've played enough co-op games where I can feel like I can handle, you know, at least the normal level. So, so at normal level, I have to draw three of these cards, and it'll it'll decide which way the storm goes. So the storm, this little empty area in the middle, is the storm, and it's going to be moving um, throughout the game. And adding more um, sand to the to the um, board. Um, so this is um, that phase. So I just want to play this thing right here. So, so I would, let me see if it's a. If I'm going to be moving the storm. So yep. So I will move the storm once. Going this way, and then so we'll add some sand to there. That's one card. So since we're at that phase, I'll go ahead and play this. So. Hopefully the sound comes through on that. And then move that point machine over so I can get that discard area here. Then the second one. This is pretty nice. It's it's moved three to the left, but since it's at the edge of the board, it's only going to move one and bury uh, this particular tile here. So I can't go to that tile. You love the sand for? Oh, good. Um, here I'll play it again since I've got more sand on the on the board. And then we got one last one. So there's other cards in this um, deck. So the 
Oh, I didn't show two on this. There, it, we track our water levels on here. So there's some cards called Sun Beats Down, which reduces um, our water levels. Um, it, unless there's certain situations there that were, there's some tiles on here with water symbols that we can go to and replenish. But one of them is a mirage of those, of three of them that's on here. And it looks like that one's buried, so that's great. All right, so one more card and we'll see what happens. So it's going to move, not going to do anything because it would have moved um, to the left one more. So that's good for us. And that ends that phase. So we're doing okay. Um, I got the archaeologist. All this needs, all the sand makes uh, me <laughs> watch doing the movie. Yeah, that's supposed to be coming out here in the near future. So that, that looks pretty cool. I'd like to play that Dune game. That looks really fun. All right, so that is that turn. Okay, so we're going on to the archaeologist. So he can clear two stand from one tile per action. So that's kind of nice. Um, he can only move orthogonally, though. So I feel like he's going to move one. Then escape excavate here so we know that the little uh compass here is in this row so that's good so that gives us an indication that it's it could be you know any one of these columns but we know it's at least on that row there so that that's handy so that's that was two then he can go Hmm. I guess he could go. You can still go on um, tiles that just have one sand tile on there, or sand, yeah, tile. So we'll go. Let's have two more actions. I could clean that off. I'm kind of not worried about the storm too much because it's at least on the side of the board, so that's nice. Three. Should I just flip that one, I wonder? No, I'll go ahead and clear this off. Clear two. All right, let me make sure I'm doing that correctly. Or adjacent, okay. So we'll clear those two off. At least that's cleared out. They're good there. Okay, so we do three more. We got more, more sand coming probably, so we'll hit that. So it's going to move down one. Let me make sure I do this correctly. Yeah, we're going to go down one, and that will get one of those. Second one. Oh, the storm picks up. Move the sandstorm meter up one tick mark. Start drawing this amount next turn. Okay, so we have to move this guy up. But we're still in the three card range, so that's good. All right. And the second one. All right, so this one's it's going to move up again. So not too horrible, but the, there was definitely some sand coming through on that one. Ah! <laughs> All right, so so there's that one. So I'm back to my explorer. So you can move diagonally. So for one action, since this is cleared, I'm gonna excavate this one. Which this doesn't really have a whole lot on it. Oh no, that's the pad. That's where we got to get to. So that's a good one to have. That's where we have to launch from. So that's one. Kitty cat wants to get in the chair as usual. Hi, kitty cat. All right. Let me move my keyboard and I it can come up here. Up up. Get in the chair. You can hang out with me. Up, 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 up. Get in the chair, dude. All right. 
Oh no, up here, not on my lap. There, right there. Alright, so. So I did one action. Then we'll do. Uh, I don't want to go to the water space necessarily yet because that will. Um, that's like a one time deal. Um, where you have to. Uh, where you get can replenish your water. But we're. We are okay, so we don't want to want to go there necessarily. So I'm gonna. All right, that was one, two, um, three, and then four. We'll flip this. See what we got. Oop. So we found. What do we find? The engine. So we know the engine is also uh, somewhere <laughs> in that row. That's kind of neat. That's kind of weird that it came up. Both of those are in that same row. So it's that way. <laughs> both of them are the, either that way. So um, we'll find out based on here. So I need to start working probably this area probably. So okay. And then um all right, so that was his turn. All right, so we're still drawing three. So we'll open that one. Oh, storm picks up. Oh, great. Darn storm coming, coming for us. So we're still in the three range, so that's good. We're not drawing more cards. Oh boy. Okay, so it's going to go down three now. So one, two, three, and then all of those get sand. That one is buried. And I got some sand that came over my way. All right, cool. And then, so that was that turn. Thankfully, he can clear out two if he'd like to. Man, there's two water spots right in the same thing, but I don't have to excavate. I can I can go past them. And then also, by the that storm happening, then that engine actually will be in that row um, now instead of this one. So um, the board does shift and move. You will so there's potential where the parts will move. Um, throughout the game so it could be even when you do find the part it could move on you so yep oh i missed um i missed your comment about the thunderbirds co-op game i haven't played that one i'd like the that one looks pretty fun all right so we got this guy and we do still have this we can peek under any un uh, excavated tile i don't know if we'd necessarily need that um, so I'm thinking he's going to clear this off since he can do two. Makes sense to get rid of both of those. Then so that's one action for him. Yeah, that made sense. I don't know if I should go. Two, okay, maybe two, and then three. And then four, I think. So I uncovered another gear. So he's gonna have yeah, let me make sure I keep track of who who has what. Um so that was um, the art explorer. This is the archaeologist. So I got a dune blaster. Um, remove all sand from your tile or from an any adjacent or an adjacent tile. So this is a one-time use deal. You can play it at any time. So that is that is that person's. All right. Sue. So, Alright, so 
that was their turn. We will start. We've got three more to draw. So the storm's going to move that way, but um, it's not going to go anywhere. So that's good. It's going to move up one. So this one is buried. And this one's gonna and it's gonna move down one, so oh boy. That one got extra buried. So that's not good. Let me make sure I did uh, enough of those. Yep, yep, because it didn't do the first one. Okay. Alright. We haven't seen any Sunbeat down beats down cards yet, which I hope there's not like a bunch in a row and I just become dehydrated and die in this game. But we'll see how it goes. Um, all right, green players turn. Don't know. Probably move. So I could move here and search the tile. Yeah, maybe that's. Or I can move there and start clearing that off. I don't know how much I want to worry about that. Because I do have the this, this Doom Blaster thing too, so I can use that. And then the archaeologist can remove two. So I almost think it's move, flip. Oh, I've got the propeller part, so that's two actions. So... You have a sense of where that is. So that was two actions. Boy, I don't know if I should separate the two guys. Because we can share water and we can share um, our different special cards. Uh, uh, the, those cards that we got. If we need to. That was two. Yeah. Definitely need to work this corner over here. So I, I'm thinking so that was two, three, four. We'll go like that. So that'll be the explorers. Um, four actions for that one. Um, all right. So we're back to the the storm part of the the game here. The storm's gonna move up. Two, so this it's only gonna move one because there's it's stuck it's in the corner now. Second one it's gonna move up. So yeah, it's not gonna move. It's still there, stuck in the corner. Let me double check that. I, I I'm, I'm second guessing myself. I'm playing that correctly because because it um. I think I am, but I just want to make sure. Yeah, so we would move. Uh, okay. So let me make sure. It's the up one that's messing me up. Yeah, I'm doing it correctly, because I would have had to move. Yeah, there's no tiles here. So, yeah, we're good. All right, cool. Um, all right, so that was that was two. So th this is the third one, so it will move this way. And we'll get sand on there. All right, that is the explorer's turn. How's everybody doing tonight? I appreciate Looks like a few people are dropping in. If you have any questions or or anything, feel free to um, drop them in the chat there. All right, so archaeologist. So he's right here. So they're gonna just eliminate these two here for the their first action. And I, I almost wonder, should I 
not worry about um, removing sand too much. It's more working on getting these tiles flipped. That's one. Uh, I don't want to flip the water. Two. No, I don't know if I want to go there per se. Yes, I think he, you know, the uh, explorer wants to start going that direction and try to get into that area. Though we do know that uh, the propeller is somewhere in this column. It'll depend on what's still, yeah, depend on what's over there. Because we know these are two water ones. It won't be those two. It could be these three. Seems like most of the water is on that side. I'm still good with water. That was one. All right, the stone's there. Two. Three and four, I think. All right, that's what we'll go with. I don't know if it's... Or should I move there? That's the question. And not clear that one. I think and that's what I want to do. Instead of clearing that one, I'm going to move here. And then on that, on that, um, the archaeologist's next turn, then they can flip over the tile. All right, let's see. So that was the end of the archaeologist's turn. I can peek to, or no, the explorer has that one. I can do the doom blaster. So that. That particular character can remove a lot of sand if need be. All right. So we're back to this. All right, Storm's going to move. One, two, all right. There's our first Sun Beats Down card. Uh, player will each lose one water unless they're in a tunnel or under a solar shield, which we are neither one to that, so uh, we uh, got that to come across the, the window here. All right, so we're going to lose a water, each of us, because we're out in the open. So I believe there's three of those. Still got quite a bit of deck left, so I'm not super worried about water but it can become a concern quick because I'm at three and two and if we get down to the crossbones then we are we both <laughs> well just one of them gets down there we lose so explorers turn sink I want to flip more uh, tiles this way Uh, let me make sure it was that. No, that was only two cards. Oof, I almost almost messed up there. We got one more. So it's going to move up one there. There we go. Now it's the Explorer's turn. I got all flustered with the, the, the sun coming out and dehydrating us. I don't want to flip those yet. Do, do, do. Okay, clear that one. One, two, three. I can clear diagonally four. And we got another gear card. So the explorer has a dune blaster now, so they can remove all sand from uh, a tile from that they're uh, remove all sand from your tile or from an adjacent tile. So that's good. 
So that was that player's turn. So when this deck does run out, we're gonna shuffle and and run through it again. All right, Storm's gonna move this way. Can only move once, so that's good. Oh, oh, we're in trouble. Sun beats down again. So we might be getting those those water um those water ones again. If the sun keeps beating on us here, like looking to see if there's water in those tiles. So one more, hopefully. And then, wow, that storm's gonna move three. One. So that one's buried. Two. And three. All right. Yep. Plenty of sand that time. All right. So that was the explorer's turn. Do do. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I don't know because we both have to be on that tile to be able to benefit from the water. So maybe if I end up there, that wouldn't be a bad thing. So I could go one, two, three, and then go on there. Because I guess we're okay. I mean, the archaeologist is in more shape than the explorer as far as water goes. But I don't want us to to lose on that. That would be that would be sad. All right. So I think yeah, we're gonna clear out. That one for one, this one for two. They're gonna check to see what's under this tile. All right, so we've got an idea of where the crystal is. So that was three, and then four, and then hopefully the sun doesn't get us on this next. Well, I mean, if it does, it's fine. But ideally, hopefully that doesn't happen. So we know the crystal somewhere in that direction. So with that. We need to get on this side of the board <laughs> over here because that is obviously where a majority of the the rest of the clues of where our things are because we found all four of of one one of each um part tile but we need the second one to be able to actually know where it is so eh, yeah so that was that all right, so I need to, need to do these now. So let's see. Oh boy, all right, the storm picks up. We got more storm coming. The winds are a blowing. So that means we got, we're gonna be drawing four cards now. Oh joy, so this is going quick. All right, so that's one two so this is gonna come down so that was two and then it's gonna move this way that was three and of course the sun beats down so we're getting beat on here so we both lose water that Archaeologist is at zero. I can get it over there and hope there's water there. So yeah, that was that was a nasty round with uh, lots of sand and and lots of sun. So let's see. That was the archaeologist, <laughs> which that was pretty rough. We definitely need water, no doubt about it. And these gear cards, I didn't mention, you can use those any time, um, even off your turn, which is kind of nice. So I believe so, anyways. Yeah, play it at any time. Oh, man. I feel like I'm just constantly just 
removing sand. I feel like I got one, two, three, flip, and then remove. Got to remove from either both of those, so it's not gonna matter. All right, so I'm gonna go one, two. Hopefully this is not the dry one. Good. Okay, we're gonna replenish three, so we're back up for water. So that's good. All right, that's three turns. Thinking it's most important to keep the pad open. So we're gonna do that for four. All right, here we go, we're drawing four. Let's see. All right, it's gonna move this way. So that one is blocked. That one, that's one, that wasn't too bad. It's gonna go down one, so now the that one's buried as well. Can't go on that tile, which I don't think it's a big deal that we want to. Hey, Dr. Nate, welcome. Thanks for you for dropping in while I get buried in sand. You have no audio? Huh. It looks like my my thing is working. Well, I can double check. Let me see if it's just on your end or or what, but you never know. with these things. Let me double check this so I want to make sure I'm not like talking to nobody. Double check this so I want to make sure I'm not like talking to nobody. Oh yeah, sound I mean it's good on my end. I'm hearing it through the stream. So I don't know. Check your settings. Let me fix something real quick here. Yeah, cord. Okay. All right. So that was the second card. Third. Oh man, man, we got water just in time because the sun's gonna beat down on us and take us down one here. There we go. And four, hopefully. And it's gonna one, two. All right. Oh, and hey, Dr. Nate, thanks for the follow. I missed that while I was trying to. Yeah, let me let me see that. Make sure that one. Thumb kiss to you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, so that's it for that turn. So, wasn't super horrible, wasn't super great. We at least got water in the right time <clears throat> before the archaeologist died, so that's good. Okay, now let me just look at this real quick, see what I want to do because our water is okay, it's not. Amazing. I'm definitely going to clear that tile. That's going to be my first turn. I feel like I need to get over there more so. So I could use one of I could use the do one of the doom blasters just to clear it. So I'm not using a turn to remove um, sand, which would be good. Mm -hmm. I've got two of them, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use the the Doom Blaster there and knock all these guys off of here. Then, I'm gonna, so 
I can go one, two, three, and then flip. Which might not be a bad idea. All right. Yeah, I think, I think that's what I want to do. Oh, something else about it too. I, I messed. Maybe I missed it. Or I might have hit it twice actually. And I think about it. Yeah, that's why I did. Screwed up. Okay. Um. That was so. That was a no turn. One, two, three, and then four to flip. So I mean, we got another gear card. So let's see what what we got. Got another uh, telescope so I can peek under any unexcavated uh, tile. True. Okay. So let's see what happens with this storm here. It's gonna go like that. Oh wait, that should flip. That can't go through there. There. That was one. Two. Not going to go anywhere. That's nice. So they, we went through that whole deck. So let's shuffle them up. Oh, well, I appreciate people jumping in, saying hi, and, and hanging out. I remember I got one more card I got to flip after I shuffle this. Do these on Friday nights at 6.30 Eastern Time. And then... Also, play some video games on Saturday nights with my daughter, Pansy. So we, um, usually that's 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. If you want to come check us out right now, we're playing a game called Nights and Bikes, which has been pretty fun. All right, so. Hey, Book of Nerds, wanted to pop in and check out the stream. Say hi. Hey, Book, thanks for dropping in. I appreciate it. I'm just playing a little bit of uh, Forbidden Desert. I know you guys played Forbidden Island um, earlier in the week. Um, really enjoy your guys' stream. Book of Nerds is a really cool stream if you guys want to check it out. They stream during the week. Um, but yeah, thanks for dropping in. We're I'm staying alive, but it's just barely <laughs> with this one. But we're trying here. We avoided being dehydrated and dying at least once. Okay, so that's not going to go anywhere. And this one's going to move here. We're going <laughs> to hope I do better than you guys. Did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, you know, with co-ops, you never know uh, what how you're going to do. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't need to do that. Oh, okay, I didn't need to do that because I shuffled. That's going to come up later. So actually, we're good on that one. So now it's the explorer's turn. Yeah, the explorer needs to get over in this general area too. I almost think using the the Doom Blaster here to get rid of that. Oh, I forgot to. So we had some little bit of storm action going on uh, with that last turn. So thankfully, no sun came out and dehydrated us. There's also a tunnel here somewhere that can protect this from the sun so that would be that would be good to find yeah I'm gonna clear that person can move diagonally too yeah so I'm thinking I'm gonna use the dune blaster clear off this whole section and that special ability of the explorer can they can do that diagonally so that'll work out so then I almost think we'll go one flip Another gear card, so that was one action. Let's see what we got. Cool, we found a solar shield. You and other uh, pawns on your tile may 
ignore the effect of sun beats down until the start of your next turn. So yeah, that's a nice, nice card to get there because we've definitely been struggling with that. So that was one, two. I'd like to find another part of this contraption. Three. Yeah, three. And then four. So that wasn't too bad. I almost wonder if I should start playing these telescope cards um, so I can start looking under tiles to see to have a better idea of where these parts are. Peek under an un tile. I, that wouldn't be a bad idea because then I have a, a better idea of what's over here. I think so there's a water tile here. This should be flipped here. I can't go on that tile until I clear it off. So I think, yeah, what the heck? I, I, mean, I feel like if I don't use them, they're just going to sit in my hand, and at the end of the game, I'm going to lose and <laughs> be like, oh, it's been a good idea to use those cards. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I can do that at any time. And I think I want to know what is under this one. So that's just a... Uh, another gear card for that one. So that's not exactly what we're looking for. All right, that was the green, the explorer's turn. So now we get to do the the nasty stuff. We got to see if we're going to be buried in sand. So someone's going to move that way. So yeah, we got some more sand coming. Coming at us. Ah, sand. And then um, that was one. Two, so it's gonna move this way once because it can only move once. Three storms picks up, which isn't too bad. We're okay with that. We're um still in the four area. All right, that was three, and then two more. So it's gonna go. Whoop. This one's really getting buried. Hope there's nothing important under that one. Because we're not going to see the for a while. Going to lurk for a bit. Good luck. Thanks. So, yeah, I appreciate you dropping in and, and lurking. I'm going to need some luck, especially if the important thing is under this tile. Uh, we're in trouble. It's all the way in the corner. All right, so that was that for, for the explorer's turn. Then now that one. So we know we're not super worried about the, that particular one. Almost thinking. I'm almost worried about what's under these two because it's, it's guaranteed it's going to be a, a part. Ugh. I can always peek if I need to work my way back over that way. I just want to get some more parts to this machine. I've got four of them revealed. I just need to know where they come, you know, they intersect. So, we go one, two, completely clear that one. Well, you know, I have this card. I could probably look what's there. I mean, it only makes sense. Is it worth going there in the first place? So. Play the the telescope. We're gonna play that card just to peek and see it. is it worth it to go there. It's another gear, so we know these two tiles here. We have equipment that we can get. Is that important right now? So, so maybe the better play is the work on that one because we know what those two are. We know it's water here. We're okay on water. We don't know what that is. Yeah, I think um, we're going to clear this one because I just need more information here. Okay, then two. All right, well, before I did that, we'll go two. Or no. no, we know that's gear. Okay, yeah, well, two, 
three, and then four. Let's hope. Oh, gear card. Man, where is all kinds of gear over here in the corner? And we got another um, solar shield. Uh, this tile. Okay. We're okay on water, so I'm not super worried unless a boatload of um, sun beats down comes and, and takes our water from us. So that was that one. So it's either going to be those four, that one, or these two. And if it's these two, I don't know if I can get over there and fix that situation. It seems pretty bad at this moment. But we got to see what the bad stuff happens. Hey, Silver Metal, ta uh, uh, Silver Metal Tavern. Thanks for dropping in. I appreciate it. We're playing a little bit of Forbidden Desert. Working through my shelf of shame. Or shelf of opportunity, as people like to say. Um... One of the hardest games ever. Oh, great. Um, I've had it. It's been on the shelf for a couple years. It's just never made it to the table. So, hey, that's what these Friday nights are for. I'm working through games I can solo. Uh, most of them will be ones I haven't played. But, um, yeah, <laughs> I've never played it, unfortunately. Um, just haven't. Just hasn't been one. I've played uh, Forbidden Island all kinds of times. But for some reason, this one just has not gotten played. Um, so, Friday nights are for uh, on this channel for going through solo on my shelf of opportunity. I may throw in some games too that I that I have played before, but um, that's what we're doing so far. But thanks for dropping in, and I appreciate it. We're gonna see what happens with these darn uh, um, say the storm card. So we're gonna got a storm of brewing. I just know it. Here it comes. Let's see what this first one is. Oh nope, it wasn't a storm one. It was the the sun beats down, so we got the sun coming down and hitting us, which is not good. It's going to drop our water down here. That was the first one. So then, oh man, I played this a lot on uh, Steam. I had a guest, and we lost on normal, but one on legendary. Oh, that's weird. I'm playing on normal uh, tonight. I figured I didn't have to go all the way down to novice, but... We'll see. Um, it's definitely working its way up the track there to the skull and crossbones. So that was the first thing. Sun goddess. Oh my goodness, no. Two sun beats down on us. So there we go. More sun coming at us. That is not good. One more of those and we're going to lose. And I'll blame my shuffling skills. Oh, you like the interactive um, uh, animations? Thank you. I try to do those. If you check out some the last two Fridays, I try to include those on those ones too, um, if the VODs are still out there. And then that's going to move this here. So that was three. And this is, this is, if this is a Sun Beats Down card, we're, we're pretty much done. Okay. So then that's going to move this way. Uh, these are just getting horribly buried. I just know there's like there's got to be parts there, too. Oof, not good. All right, so that was the archaeologist's turn. They're almost dead. I'm definitely gonna be using a solar shield um, unless I can get us water. I wonder what the odds. Oh, I got 50/50 chance of this is being in water or that one being water. I don't know if I want to worry about that right now because I really need to reveal some tiles to find out where the so I have four each each tile of, of one part or the one tile for one part revealed so all I need to do is find the other four um, I'm finding a lots of gear cards and I need if I need to do anything over here I'm gonna need this more sandblaster cards I've been kind of, I know that these two ones are gear cards, are gear tiles. So I don't know if I want to go for that, per se. Ugh. Should I worry about water? <laughs> There's so many things to think about. What do I do? Oh, man. Um. Yeah. 
I mean, the easiest one to get water would be that one. I'm only going to give myself water, though, so that doesn't help as much. I think at least one, I got to see what's under this one. Ooh, that's good, too, though. So we found the, the tunnel that'll protect us from the sun. And we get a gear. Oh, we got a time throttle. Take two more actions during a turn. Oh, boy, that's nice. That was the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. -hoo. I feel like this is, like, the game right here. What I decide here is going to decide what happens. Because that's kind of nice, having two more turns... That would be good. Um, oof. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, there's more gear there. Don't know what this is. Water. Whatever that is, it's buried like crazy. I can't get over there anyways. Unless I clear that at least one sand from there. I feel like it's worth checking there. So that was one, two, three, four to go there. No, it'd be one, two. Yeah, I can't even do it unless I use this time throttle thing that I just got. All right. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I think I will do that. But, um, one, two, three, four, then two more actions to work up that way. All right, let's go for it. Um, one, two, so I can go on here. Three, four. Play this one, get two, I get two more actions. So see what happens there. So we'll see what come on, be a part. Oh, another tunnel. Oh, but we do get another another gear. Uh, move any unblocked tile. This is a jetpack. Oh, move to any unblocked tile. Uh, one other pawn on your starting tile may come along for the ride. Alright. That's pretty cool. I have one more action, so I can clear that. Yeah, eventually I'm going to have to get that one over here so that they can clear out boatloads. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll just come here for four, or for that second action that I, I got with that gear. I almost think I need to use, well, okay, there's three, I can look at these, so there's three Sun Beats Down cards in this deck, so we got rid of them, so that's nice, um, we're good there, so really I could um, take, well I'm not going to take a chance, because I got to draw four cards, and that, that could be just the end, so I can take a chance with the Explorer by using, not using the Solar Shield, but I will, um, I will use it with for the archaeologist, so I can play this at any time. Does not count as an action. All right, so the archaeologist is going to play you and other pawns in your tile. You may ignore the effect of sun beats down until the start of uh, your next turn. So we're going to just play that um, for the archaeologist. They're going to play that on their tile, so that way they won't die. Um, the explorer still has one water, so. So they're okay. Okay. That was that turn. So now let's see what the bad stuff is. So yeah, the storm keeps them moving. Here we go. More storm. This tile just continues to get more buried. That was one. And it's going to move up. Two. Three, these are going to get covered, and I'm stuck. 
there. And four, which it's not going to move. So yeah, all kinds of sand storm on that one. Uh, my explorer is buried because they're on a tile that has that is buried. So they are essentially stuck. Um, now it's the archaeologist's turn. They can clear two, so they could clear that one out. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, okay. What to do? I can go one and then clear. Of course, they can clear. Well, they can't clear. Yeah, they can clear one. It's on there for themselves. Really, I need to get to water. Can I get there? One, two, three, flip. And hope that's water. Or a mirage. If it's a mirage, then. I'm in trouble because I I'm in bad shape water wise what do you think should I continue to clear and excavate or should I try to get my water back up because we're both at the explorers at one it's not gonna help explore but the archaeologist is at zero so one more and we're done And we only got one Sunbeats down card, so we don't know if that's going to come up or not. We can we can take the risk, we can gamble, and continue to try to find these parts, or play it safe and hope that this tile here has water. That is the question. Yeah. That. So. All right. Let's let's think about it. Live for today. <laughs> All right, I think. Yeah, I mean, that's probably the smart move to do. Because if that, I mean, if we can replenish that pawn, then they can work over here actually and try to clear out this stuff a lot faster than the green one can. So I think, yeah, we're going to go one, two, three. Hope there's water. Come on. No. Let's see what we got. There is no water. <laughs> oh, wah, wah. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Okay, so we got to hope that Sun Beats Down card does not show up. That There's only one in this entire rest of this deck. And we have to hope that it doesn't hit us. So here we go. First one. Storm's going to move here. So both our tunnels are buried. Uh, we got some sand coming in here. All right. Second one. It moves down here. It's hanging out over in the corner. Third, moves down again. That one's got some on there. And the fourth one, hopefully, if this is the sun beats down, we're going to lose. Let's see. And, oh, it's a storm picks up. So, yeah, all kinds of sand love coming through. Woo. We're still at four here, so we're not, that's not too bad. But we have got no parts. We have this whole section of the board pretty much buried horribly. So, still know that these two have gear. I need to know what those four have. That is the question. So let's move exploration. So they have to remove sand to be able to move out of here. That's one. Two, well... Oof. Let me think. Uh, 
Yeah. I mean that I mean I have to find out what what is there. That's one. Cuz I do have the jetpack. There's something I could do there. Could jetpack over there to save a move, two moves. That way I could clear out, I can excavate. If I just land here, one. That was one. That's three. It would be two to flip, three to move. If I could move, if I use that, I can reveal those two. And hope the sun beat card. Speed, uh, sun beats down card doesn't show up. Yeah. Okay. Gonna take a risk. We're gonna jump. Should I jump to the corner? Should I come over here and go? I already used one turn, so I have three more to go. I could go there, flip, two, move, flip. Because we know, well, we know the gear is in that that row. And yeah, and also is the the sundial there. Okay. Guess, guess. So I'm thinking I'm going to reveal these two. Is is my best bet. So this would be free. Two. More gear. See what it is. Another jetpack. <sighs> hmm. That was three. No, no, that was two. And here for <clears throat> three and then four. All right, so we know where the engine part is. So where's the engine? <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's grab some water. All right, is it like buried. Where is that thing? Great. That's the gear. I like found the engine right off the bat. Did I not have the engine? I could have swore I did. No, I did. Where the heck did it go? Propeller. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we know that the engine is there. So we at least know where one part is. That's hilarious. Okay. So that was the explorer's turn. So we have to draw four cards now. All right, see. Oh, you know what I can do? I did get a jetpack. It's a free action. So... I hate to I hate to leave that corner, but just for sake of survival, I'm gonna spend the jetpack, fly over with my buddy here, and then play the the solar shield so that we're both protected. No matter even if the sun beats down, a uh, card shows up. So let's see what that happened with that. So first one, Storm's gonna move those two so they both get some sand on them. Second one, aha, sun beats down. That was a good play. So we're good. That that saved us. That would have been game right there. Whew, that was a close one. Yep, sun beats down, but it doesn't matter to us. We're perfectly fine under our shield here. All right, third one. Oh, wow, I, there, maybe there's four sun beats down. Sorry. I, man, I don't know. How did I shuffle those that where they both came together? So... We're still good. That's actually good. That's got to be all of them, I'm pretty sure. Possibly there's four in the deck. I thought there was only three. Maybe that's the, the storm one. All right, then that was two. And then, or let me make sure. No, that was three. And then this is four. So it's going to move there. And have some sand on it. Then this one's going to move and have sand. Yeah, so we had some little bit of storm action there. We got 
covered in sand, but not buried. We can still move, so that's good. We barely avoided becoming completely dehydrated, so that works out. Now we have to figure out what should we do with the archaeologist. We have two, two down here that have four on there, which is brutal. I could use gear. I know these two are gear, I'm pretty sure. Um, at least that's why Pete saw. So red guy, one, two, can clear three, four. Could clear those both, but then, well, let me double check how many of what we got here. Because then that makes all the difference. Yep, four of them. So yeah, there are four. So we're not going to pick up any more though. So really we don't have to worry about water for a little bit, a couple turns. So that's good. And there is a tunnel here that could be cleared out. Hmm. All right. I um, think I will. <sighs> should I work? Maybe I should work over there and see what's over there. I can go one, two, three, and flip. And I could pick up the engine at some point. At, at some point. Well, we know, yeah, we pretty much know it's either these, it's three out of the four. So at least one of these is going to be, um, these ones over here are going to be a part because we know these two are gears and we know, we don't know what these two are and we don't know what these two are. So we're going to, we have to get to, at least there's going to be one over in this vicinity in the corner here covered in sand and really the archaeologist is best at clearing sand so I'm thinking that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna go one two three four so at least they at least that spots cleared and they can clear this corner too at some point all right yeah that seems pretty good all right sandstorm we're coming here we go so it's going to move down twice here. That's one. So there was some sand that blew in here. And then two. Uh oh, our storm's picking up. We're still in the four range though, so that's good. Three, so it's going to come down. One. That one's blocked. Two. There. And four. Let's see. And it's going to come back again. So we're going to keep getting buried in sand. So more and more sand. All right. So we got that. Uh, uh. Now for that one, what to do? They can move diagonally, so that's good. That'll save us some movement. Um, so I gotta go one, two, three. We know where the propeller is. Okay, how's that work? Um, is it right on top of it then? Must be. Yeah, so it'd be right there. So I'm, then technically, then I can pick up. Yeah, that's an action, right? Pick up. Um, yep. Pick up a part. So for four, we'll pick up that part. So that is one part we have have taken. So that's good. 
so that was their turn. So let's see what happens here. So Storm's going to move nowhere. Move nowhere again. Two, three, still not moving. Four, all right. Whoa, that was awesome. That is what we needed a turn like that, where nothing happens. All right, so we will. All right, um, we will. Now it's the archaeologist's turn, so they are going to move and flip. Hopefully, this is a part. Nope. Oh, that's not bad though. That was two, and then they can go three, four to clear that out. Okay, so that's their turn. Turns are going quick now because I kind of have a an idea of what we need to do. So really, we need to know. <laughs> it's, it's things that it comes down to these last two. So we we're in position though to get the parts, but we need to clear this area. We have to get it all come together. So we'll see how this goes. But so we're gonna draw four more. Storm moves nowhere. It's trapped over in the corner. That's good. Oh, it's going to move over this way. One. So that was. That was two. We did have a little sand show up. I need to shuffle these a little bit better because apparently I had all the sun beats down cards all in one. In two pairs. I don't know how the heck I manage that. So we still need to draw two more of these cards and we'll see what happens. Um, perfect. <laughs> Absolutely, this was perfect that that player's in the tunnel because um, they cannot be affected by the sun right now. And this, as long as two of those don't show up, we're good. We'll be in good shape. All right, so let's cut this one more time. and. Shuffle it up. All right. Two sunbeats down cards, and we're done. So that's for this first one. Say it moves nowhere. And moves nowhere. I like that storm being caught right there in the corner there. That is nice. Okay, now we have. Oh, okay. So this this is gonna work out. So we got we're gonna move there. So we know this is a part um, reveal again. These are gonna be. We know we got the engine. What are we missing? Um. Oh, I think. Oh, I wonder how, if that's how that works. No, I don't think so. As long as when it's re let me double check when the parts are revealed. Is that and then the does that change how that happens there? That would be weird. Um, second clue in this game: the player can uniquely identify the location of the part immediately. Place in the on the indicated tile now when the storm blows tile around this part will move okay so as long as we know that's where the part is that's where it's at yeah yeah storm in the corner yeah it's going so so far so good we've <laughs> avoided um for the most part um getting i know where the two rest of the parts are um but getting there get them them and and getting back to the pad that's going to be the challenge so not too bad but yeah, the storm's been kind of nice hanging out in the corner. It can stay there. Um, so we got one, two. All right, so we know where the that is somehow. So we know, oh boy, that's not great. That thing's buried big time. So that was one, so that was one, two, then we'll go three and then four so at least 
At least I have the propeller and the engine. So that's good. That's buried though. That's going to be a challenge. That was that one's turn. Here we go. So we're going to... Oops, sun beats down. Yeah, we're in trouble. There's one more of them and we're done. And there it is. So, <laughs> yep. I don't know how I shuffled them and managed to get them in pairs, but I somehow did twice. Um, so there we go. Yes, rest in peace. That was Forbidden Desert. Um, really fun. I'm, I wish I would have played a long time ago. It's definitely rough. I was at least, I don't know how many turns. Now play it on Legendary? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I might have to play it a few times off stream, and then maybe I'll come back and play it on Legendary and see how it goes. But no, it, it is... I yeah I did I didn't re so this would have had to be revealed I knew that that was the last one that had a part and that would have put the part oh my goodness it would have put it exact same spot it would have been right there with that so that would have been actually not been bad we could have avoided the sun beat down card so let me make sure I play that so meteorology is huge that's for sure um that wouldn't have happened there maybe we would have had a chance. Well, yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty brutal, <laughs> tough game. But hey, I got it off my shelf of opportunities, so and it was fun. I definitely enjoyed it. Um, it actually is one I probably could play with the family. Um, they're not huge board gamers, but but this one I think they would like. They like Forbidden Desert, so that character is the best with with a group. Which one, the um, the archaeologist? Oh, is it, oh the meteorologist. Oh, okay, <clears throat> that's that makes sense. Okay, yeah, yeah. That, I didn't even see. I didn't look at even look at the other character cards. So what I I just picked it random as they tell you to do. Let's see what I didn't get. I was happy to get green because I, I always play green, but um, just randomly got that. Um, climber, move the block tiles. Move you take one. Other player with you when you move. That's nice. Water carrier. That would have been really handy because um, we needed that. Yes. And red and blue character is a fantastic group. Okay, that's good to know. Um, navigator. And there's the meteorologist. So spend action to draw fewer storm cards. One card per action at the end of your turn. Oh, nice. That's really handy. Yeah, that keeps you <clears throat> from drawing a bunch. I mean, that gives you you can get ahead right at the beginning. Putting less sand on the on the board, but yeah. So yep, that is Forbidden Desert. Um, still thinking about what I'm gonna play next Friday. Um, I have plenty of options. I <laughs> definitely have a backlog of games, so um, I'll be looking at what can be played and uh, solo in particular, and what can. I get some cool animations they had to it too, because I kind of like that, um, adding a little touch like that to the to my stream. So I'm gonna. So that wasn't too bad. It was about a little over an hour um, to play that game, and I, got, I feel like I got towards you know close to the end. I at least had three um, things revealed. Um, no, I didn't make those. I don't. I can't take credit for those. I just found them um, on the internet. Um, whatever matched up with um, the game so um, so actually I will take her um, some previous weeks like I did back to the future so some of those I um, did through um, premiere uh, so I did do a few of those um, for uh, for the stream so but these ones in particular I just happen to find them and <clears throat> be able to use them so I think it adds you know a little touch to the <laughs> to the board gaming experience i hope hope everybody enjoys them all right guys i th thank you so much for dropping in dr nate thank you for following appreciate the the follow um like i said we're going to continue to play these through um to, i don't know soon oh raid yeah that's a good idea i should raid um so let me yeah let me see who is thank you for <laughs> reminding me because i'm horrible at remembering that 
Oh boy, I don't know. You got any suggestions? I don't really see anybody that I know. <laughs> you you forget too. Yeah, I I uh, get caught up in like the endings. I'm used to doing um YouTube videos <clears throat> more so, so I'm used to like wrapping them up <laughs> and then just hitting stop. But um, so the thing about continuing after this, uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't really see anybody that I know that's streaming right now. I know Fridays tends to be a little board game. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I see them. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah. Looks like they're playing Fortnite, but that's that's fine. I know the I've dropped into their streams a few times. Alright, let me grab let me grab my keyboard here. They're playing Fort yeah, I mean like I said, I, can, I don't see anybody really that's playing board games tonight. Oh, Renegade Games. Uh, no. Yeah, what the heck. James Chat. I've never I've never heard of them, but I'd be willing to, to raid them. Yeah, what the heck. Let me see. Let me grab that. He's cool. Okay. I will trust you. Always looking for new people to. Hey, slivers! Hey, I'm just wrapping up. Um, just barely lost that um, Forbidden Desert. Trust me. No, <laughs> it was pretty close, but um, about ready to go go raid somebody. Um, we will be streaming uh, tomorrow night. I know there's a boatload of uh, board gamer <laughs> streams going on uh, this weekend, but we are. Um, We'll do a video game tomorrow night with my daughter, so. All right, let's go ahead and raid James Chats. And like I said, thank you, everybody, for dropping in. And uh, we'll never, it's never barely, haha, you, <laughs> it's when you start. That's true. I was, I was losing right from the get-go. All right, here we go. We'll see if I did this correctly. Yep. All right, so we're heading out. We'll see you guys later. I appreciate it. Thumb kisses.